Well, we have another kind of dreary, ugly start to the day and a little fog and mist that may be around with the winds that are off the Atlantic. That will continue to be an issue throughout the weekend, but at least the heavy soaking rain looks like it's done now. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish tracking the weekend and uh, into early next week when this pattern may finally change. We'll have to watch for the potential of more coastal flooding here over the next couple of days. Overseas, we hear from Action Sports Jack's Brent Martineau as he landed in London with the Jaguars and the Jags right out to the practice field. Hopefully they got some rest during the eight-hour flight into London uh, as they prepare for Sunday's tilt against the Falcons and look to get back to 500 after starting the season one and two. We have you covered with pre-Jags coverage and make sure you watch the game Sunday morning. Don't forget 930 kegs and eggs on Fox 30. We're updating a number of storylines throughout the day uh, on Capitol Hill. It's a race to try to get a short-term or long-term spending plan done before a government shutdown Sunday morning. We're updating what may uh, be felt by you as early as Monday if indeed we do see that partial government shutdown in place. Updates ahead throughout the day. And we're checking in with our Washington team of reporters. We're also updating breaking news from the overnight hours just uh, south of downtown Jacksonville in the Spring Glen area where a pregnant woman was shot at least two times. Uh, she survives. We don't yet, as of this recording, know the status of the baby. Uh, this happened outside of a music studio that she was leaving, evidently around midnight or so. Two men wearing masks get out of a brown van and they open fire, ambushing her. What else we are putting together from the scene, from witnesses, and from detectives. We're continuing to update that story. And in the days since, Jacksonville's sheriff called out a number of people in the community uh, asking where's the outrage following the recent killings of young kids in our community. We hear from some of those community groups as they work to challenge uh, what may ultimately come next in these investigations. Uh, stay tuned for continuing coverage and updates on Jacksonville's Morning News. We're live until 10 o'clock. Two chances for you to win $1,000 each weekday at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Be listening for the WLKV payroll payout keyword and Clark Howard's money-saving advice every morning at 7.05 and 8.15 during Jacksonville's Morning News.